the final chapter, Light. Nargal should be back there. Should we wait for Lord Athos? If you are looking for me, I'm right here. Lord Athos, you're late, Greybeard. Well, were you successful? Can you put that down? I was. Use this magic tome. What is it? A legendary item. Aureola. Aureola. The strongest light magic wielded by Saint Eleminin herself. With this, we should be able to rend Nergal's dark cloak and do him much harm. With And these, too, have been infused with magic that makes them more effective against Nergal. Durandal for Elliewood. And for Hector, Armda Armax. It's... I can feel it already. Its power is beyond words. Incredible! With this, I know I cannot fa fail. And Lindis, this is for you. Hmm? What blade is this? A spirit inhibited sword. The partner of the Manny Caddy. This is the Soul Caddy. It's not a legendary item, but its blade, blade contains much power. Thank you. Mills, is Nurgle back there? I sense tremendous power. What could it be? I feel something really odd. He should have lost most of his henchmen in the, at that last battle, but... Mm, I read energy too, if only a little. Nils is right. The sense of it is different from them before. Brace yourself. He is formidable. We understand. Let's go, everyone. Isaac? This is it. The last battle. Lord Athos spoke the truth about Nergal. Average men cannot hope to stand against him. Ordinary weapons hold no power against him. Those who go with us, they must be chosen carefully. Here we go. We have our final battle. Chapter 31, Defeat Nergal. We cannot check the map. We get a reading. Or an augury. This this must surely be your final battle, as Lord Athos said. Our destiny hangs in the balance of this final confrontation. You don't need an augury. Nergal is strong. You, you and your companions must match him. Strength for strength. There are others. You must defeat them all before you can confront Nergal. Isaac, everything now comes down to your strategy. Please, lead us to victory. We check our reading. And we can see all the different affinities. So, we check our tactician stats. Here's our rating. And our rank. Well, they're doing pretty well. As for who I'm bringing in, we have Elliewood, armed with the Durandal. Nils, of course. Hector with Armads. Lynn with the Soul Caddy. We have Athos brought along, having a Four Blaze and Aureola. We have Pence here with Fimble. V Fimble Velter? Sorry. Yes? Remember? Yes, I'm not hungry yet. I'm filming this. I'm making a beer at home. No, that's fine. Yeah. We have what Shine about? and Divine, Elixir. We have Canis with oh, Fenrir's and things like that. We have um, Lois with her different types of bows. We have Jafar with two killing edges and the Iron Rune. We have Dorcas with the Brave Hack. Brave Axe, Tomahawk, Killer Axe, and we have Oswald. These are the selected units I'm bringing along with us. There ain't much else to do except make sure you save, make sure you sort out the weapons properly, and you get set. Have them in a specified order, in the order you want them to. Because the way that they'll be lined up within the battle is how they pop up. Ellie would in position 1, Nils in 2, Hector 3, 4 for Lynn, 5 for Athos, and so forth. You can only bring 12 units. So just watch out for who comes out, and be ready for all the morphs we're going to have to fight. Lord Elliewood, Lord Hector, Merlinus, thank you for everything. You're made of sternier stuff. You're made of sternier stuff than I'd imagine. Thought you'd have fled by now. I thought as much. You're not taking me with you. Oh, that's disgusting. Cry if you must, but do something about that runny nose. What are we supposed to do? You can't fight, so we can't afford to take you with us. 
Take this and return to Fargus's ship. Wh what is this? If my, uh, a letter of introduction. Take this to Ossia, and you'll be able to do good business there. Of course, if we fail in our mission, it's just a worthless slip of paper. But I must protest. For the rest of my days, I've vowed in my heart to continue serving you both. Please, oh please, do not abandon me. Melinus. Then go get on this boat and pray for our safe return. Please, have faith in us. Wait for us. I... I understand. Until the end of time, my lord. I will wait for you until the end of time. Please, come back. Safely. Please. Yeah, okay. We're going. Bye. We'll be back. Oh, Lord Elliewood. Oh, my. There we go. Here we are. Nergal! Nergal! Ha! You're here, but you're too late. The gate is already opened. I will claim the mighty quintessence of dragons. I will become stronger and move even closer to perfection. How many lives must you steal before you're satisfied? It's not only those who die. It, what about the ones left behind in pain and sorrow? What about them? I, I am who I am. The pain of others I do not feel. The sorrow of others does not touch me. Death feeds me. Death pleases me. I am the essence I consume. You fools will become corpses here, because I wish it to be. Rise and come forth, my servants. Look who appeared. The various fangs, the various enemies we fought. This. You seem impressed with my work. Or perhaps it's just that you've seen a familiar face. That's Marcus Laos, and those are Black Fang members. What have you done, Nergal? These morphs you see before you. I've given them the abilities and appearances of the people whose essences I use to craft them. Well, that's not entirely true. I've made them far more powerful. This is the ideal plan for hypocrites like you. Especially you, Eliwood. You continue to regret causing harm to anyone, even enemies. However, no matter the reason, once the deed is done, it's done. Whether you enjoy it or not is irrelevant. The result is the same. It is not the same. If you feel no horror for taking someone's life, then you... You yourself are not alive. <laughs> Your weakness runs deep in you. You can never understand. The concepts of good and evil are devoid of any meaning, any value. These ideas prevent humans from liberating their own strengths. Such foolishness. The ultimate foolishness of the human race. Nurgal, after all these years, you have not stopped to reconsider your ideas at all. The same is true for you, Athos. You must see the truth of it. All living creatures take energy from somewhere. We all use it to create, to change it into something better. The knowledge of Arcadia has shown us the road to the ultimate transformation, and yet you will not take that road. Why do you reject the obvious? I am not opposed to the quest for power, for greater knowledge. However, that quest must be driven from within, to fuel your, to fuel your quest with the stolen lives of others. This brings not wisdom, but abomination. <laughs> I remember. I still remember. Those words are unchanged from when you first said them ages ago. Ages back. When you and the dragons conspired to bury me. Look at this wound. The wound I took from your magic. Now is he his true face? It was a mistake. The only person who understood. The man I thought my truest friend. It was a mistake to try and destroy me. <laughs> it confirmed some things for me. That trust brings betrayal. That friends bring weaknesses. If that is what you learned from your encounter, then you are a fool. Do you believe for a moment that when wise Athos struck down his dearest friend, he felt nothing? His heart was torn in two, and yet you refuse to understand that. Oh, Nergal, I will defeat you. Here, today, but 
Even now, there is no hatred in my heart. You, who were born human. You, who lost a heart that defines your humanity. For you, I have nothing but pity. Pity. <laughs> Amusing. A weak fool like you has pity for me? For moi? Interesting. Now, if you hope to defeat me, you may have your chance. Of course, you will have to best my morphs first. And here we go. We have quite the fight ahead of us. Listen to me. This is my fight now. Mine alone. Everyone stay back. Hey! What are you talking about? We've come this far together, haven't we? That's right. I've said it before. We all feel the same way. Hector. Lindus. Don't forget me, Lord Elliewood. And Ninia. I'm sure she's here as well. Nils. Ah, Isaac, you too? Of course! Come on! You can't make it this far without me. If he has power to revival, to rival Athos, then I must test that power myself. Blessed Saint Elemony, please grant us a miracle. Let this battle be forgotten by history. That is all I ask. No matter what happens, I'll be on Lord Penn's side. Winning this battle means protecting my family. For the honor of the Knights of Ostia. Everyone. Let's go. We've got to stop Nergal. Of course, whoever you bring along in this battle will reflect on what he says. But of course, in order to get to Nergal, we have to defeat his Morse. Every turn that passes by, a new door will open. So you're going to want to rush these enemies ASAP and take care of them as quickly as possible. If you want to do as much damage as you can and not let up one bit. Um, not really sure who to bring. I can't get close enough with the majority of my units right now. What I can do is I'll move, um, Oswin right here. I'll have him have the, the hand axe equipped. These few can attack pretty far with their long bows and silver bows. They can have excellent range, so you gotta be careful with that. Yuhai, he has Rhinefletch, can strike consecutively. It is a powerful, powerful bow. It's probably the best bow to exist. So you're going to want to keep your units out of harm's way if possible, and just be ready for what's up ahead. Where I'm going to want to move some of my troops, there, second to re-release is Kenneth. Okay. I'm going to move Elliewood up here, have him ready by this door, have him wait along with Lindus, uh, yeah, along with Lindus, over here, I'll have Hector move in to the top right, um, move Nils along, have him play just for Lynn, just so Lynn is closer, she has a soul caddy and she looks amazing with it, there we go, move Lynn right here just so she's as close as she can be, Athos can move up with Hector. Um, I'll move Canis. Yeah, I'll move Canis up to here. Have him wait and be ready. Lucius can accompany as well. Jafar. I'm trying to plan this out accordingly. Who do I want to go where? Who would be the best options for certain places? I know I want Jafar heading off to the left right here. Pence, I think I'll have him stick close and aid Oswin of Dorcas those Dorcas head off to the top right well no I'll have Dorcas head off to the right actually just mid right and as for Lois turn five I'll have her act here with Pence as well here we go Let's see what they do yep I'm gonna strike down Yuhai has no words we see Heinflitch does damage. And it's gonna take out Oswin. Ugh! Oswin! Yep, must withdraw. Heinflitch is absurdly powerful. <sighs> These other units with their bows, not gonna make it any easier. We gotta do our best with what we got. Lois avoided. They have loads of health. So, they will. Oof. We're just gonna have to work as hard as we can and try to do what we can. HP, luck, defense, strength, and resistance up. Hold on. We see the second door opens as I expected. 
This has Fimble Veltzer and Bolting. Let's go with Elliewood. Having these Durandal for the first time. With that power. Boom. It's enough to fell the enemy. Take him down. We bring in Lynn with her Soul Caddy. And we're gonna wanna attack Kenneth. He has no words. We get a crit with Lynn. And we do as much damage as we can. We got Loose, which has near perfect accuracy. We go with Lin again to attack Kenneth. We freed him. Lin gets a level up. A much needed one at that. Boost in HP, strength, skill, and luck. Got Loose. That'll be really good for Lucius. I'm gonna move Nils close and have him play for Elliewood. Because we want to be able to use Durandal immediately. There we go. Move Hollywood in. Have him attack this one. 